Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and I'm back with another general spiritual reading. And today this reading is going to be in the full moon in Pisces on September 6th, which is pretty amazing. Now we've just passed eclipse season and I'm sure some beautiful things came up for you. For me, I actually got engaged. If you wanted to find out the full story and like the details behind it, please check out my Law of Attraction success story, my six month update, because I give you a little bit um, of a rundown as to what had happened and a little clip from when Peter proposed to me. So I'm so excited to read for you guys. Eclipse season was amazing. I'm sure a lot of things came up. Um, if you looked at our last solar eclipse reading, uh, forgiveness was a massive issue that was coming up. I made a follow-up video to help you with that one too. So let's get into today's general reading. First of all, we're going to be beginning with um, the Angel Oracle from Doreen Virtue. And if you are new to my channel, I just wanted to let you know that these are just general readings. So whatever is stuck in your head by the end of this reading, that's your divine message from my angels to you. So I hope that helps you. All right. Can we just have one card angels for our beautiful MK love fam to help them deal with the energies associated? Wow. That's a big ball. Oh, this card, it just flopped completely out change in direction this is awesome this is this is really beautiful um, so a chapter has ended something new is beginning and oh, that's exciting okay so it says the changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance you're protected now and in the future so follow the path to the happy outcome you desire this is beautiful. I love this card so much because it's like the mother protecting her little baby. This could be literally, some of you may be pregnant. This could literally be someone um, like birthing a new idea, a new opportunity. And you have this newborn um, nature about you that you're going into something brand new. And this is such an exciting time. So what's coming up for you when you look at that picture right there? Perfect start. Okay. <laughs> what I also look at this. Look where the baby is pointing, and then look where the mom's pointing. Both different directions. The baby's like over here, and the mom's like um over there. I love that. This is exciting. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's get another card from this deck. Angels, can we have clarity on the full moon in Pisces? on September 6th and clarity on change in direction for a beautiful MK Love fam. Okay, this one. Oh, the life purpose card came up again. So maybe the change of direction has to do with your life purpose. Well, it does. It says the purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and to others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus on serving a purpose and then your purpose will serve you. I'm pretty sure we pulled this card recently because I remember speaking about the heart here and then I'm seeing like the muscles, like you're flexing these new muscles. And one, two, three, four little angels around you. And another thing I remember was with the, um, what do you call that thing there? The sand timer. It's like you've already begun on the path because most of it is in the bottom section here. Yes. Change in direction. We've got a new life purpose. Some of you may be pregnant. Some of you may, you know. Of opportunities. All right. Um, universe, can we have clarity using the Archangel Raphael healing deck just to see where the blockages are and where we could improve on our new change in direction and our life purpose for a beautiful MK Love fam? For the full moon on September 6th in Pisces. Just some clarity. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Easy does it. 
Oh, can you see that? The change in direction. You can see like this is like the birth of something new. Could be, yes, pregnancy again, starting a new project, launching a new business, um, finding new friendships. There's something new, something massive is coming. So it says, Dear Archangel Raphael, please help me detach, retreat, and let go so that healing can occur. And it's a masculine energy too, because I see um, the male um, angel. There's a lot of blue going on there. Okay, let's just get more clarity on that one. Easy does there. This card is a reminder to stop, slow down, relax and breathe. Archangel Raphael says that you've been pushing hard against the grain of life with an exhausting effect. Ooh. Therefore, he's guiding you to take it easy. Ah, oh, then I heard that song. Take it easy, take it easy. Dum, bum, bum, bum. I'm sure you guys, most of you would know that song. Sometimes situations resolve themselves when we walk away from them, so this card is a message to retreat for a while. This may involve taking a trip to a relaxing local location, or it may mean detaching from a situation until movement occurs. The first thought that comes to your mind is guidance from above. As I was reading that, I remember I made a video talking about, what was it called? I said that I really don't like the word hustle and sometimes we need to like step back, replenish ourselves, Make sure that we're doing our self-love practices and, you know, just rise above. Over the weekend, I actually went camping for two nights and it was just like what I needed to just recharge for a bit because it's, yeah. Okay, this is good. And, and that's an easy one for you guys to fix too. So possible meanings for this one is practice stress relieving measurements such as meditation, massage or yoga, get some sleep, let go of stressful situations or relationships. Now, depending on what came up for you in the eclipse season, um, that's, for me, a lot came up to do with friendships and a lot of friendships disappeared. And so that may be something that may have come up for you. So just let go of what no longer serves you. And just say, thank you so much for being in my life for a beautiful moment. And thank you for being there and let me spend time with you. But now I need to let you go and set myself free. Maybe that's something to do as well. Um, since Easy Does It is a slogan of Alcohol Anonymous, this could be a sobriety message. Ooh. Think and say kind and gentle messages about yourself. Now your prayer is, or oh, I already read that one, but we'll read it again. Dear Archangel Raphael, please help me detach, retreat and let go so that healing can occur. I like that one. That's like a gentle reminder for like an every day. All right, let's go on to the next one. Let's go into our numerology numerology deck from Michelle Buchanan. Universe, can we have clarity on change in direction, life, purpose, and easy does it for our MK love fam? Oh, we, okay, we want two cards today. What the heck? <laughs> love partnership came up and individuality. And individuality came up in the last reading. That is crazy. Okay, let me do individuality first because I already touched on it last fortnight. So the individuality with this one could be literally just like, what sets you apart from everyone else? Like if this is a new business, why do people want to spend money with you when there's millions of other people in the world doing the same thing? But nobody does things exactly like you, which makes you have this unique twist and um, self-expression that comes with it. Another thing, every time I see this card, reminds me of Camden Town in London. Uh, all these eccentric people that are wearing like this massive Spice Girl platform shoes, and they've got like mohawks, they're covered in like um, leather and chains, and they just look, they're just rocking what they're doing and they feel so comfortable and so vibrant and so in control in what they're doing is that they don't seek the approval of other people. That's an interesting little piece of wisdom. Um, 
And then the love partnership card here, that is truly beautiful. Six and two is eight. Eight is infinite love and wisdom. Okay. So this love partnership could be the partnership with yourself. It could be with another person. It could be a new partnership with a baby if you're pregnant. Let me read this card. The, the, the full thing. 26. This card indicates a time when a romantic relationship is about to enter your life. Perhaps you were single and about, about to meet someone special, or maybe your current relationship is about to progress to a deeper level of understanding and commitment. Du, du, du. Either way, love is just around the corner, provided that you believe. Every time I see the word believe, I just hear the song, um, what is it? Be um, when you believe, I think that's... It's a song from Whitney Houston and Mariah Carey. If you watch my Instagram stories, I posted it a while ago when it came up in a different reading. Anyway, I'll link it for you in the description. In the meantime, you've been encouraged to focus on what you have to offer rather than what you would like to receive. By doing so, you will attract a mutually loving relationship that serves both parties' needs. Ooh, that is paramount. It serves both parties party's needs. I like that. So it's not someone dominating you or you being like the timid one. The energy balance is mutual and it's even, which is amazing. Remember, you must believe that love exists in order to attract it into your life. So work on any limiting beliefs or any negative thoughts you may have about love, aka check out my series, Emotional Blockages. I've got three videos to help you with that one. In order to improve your current situation, you've been asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythms and cycles of your life. Cycles that are leading you towards a romantic love relationship. So, love and appreciate yourself as you are today. Embrace your imperfections and be assured that you are worthy of love. You are loved one will appear when you know without a doubt that you are lovable and deserving. I don't know how, I don't know when, but love is on the way. Oh, I remember I did a little song for you last time this one came up. It was like, I don't know how, I don't know when, but love is on the way, everybody. I don't, I don't know how, I don't know when, but love is on the way. Oh, felt really hot then. Must be a steamy romance, my loves. Good Lord. My face is like on fire. Then I heard that song. This girl is on fire. Where is this going? I felt today when I was shuffling, everybody shuffling, that um, most of the cards were gonna come from the tarot, which they normally don't. But when I was shuffling today, so many of them just kept falling out of the tarot. So we'll just ask for clarity. Okay, universe, angels. Can we have clarity on change in direction, life purpose, easy does it, individuality and life, love partnership for beautiful MK love Sam to help with them deal with the energies associated with the full moon in Pisces on September 6th. Okay, that was a quick one. Again, Night of Earth. This one always comes up in your readings, my love. Like, I mean, always. Time to buckle down and get things done, my love. So honor your commitments, guardian angel. I love this card for so many reasons. Number one, check out this beautiful hottie. It's riding this horse. Oh, can you see that? Focus, focus, like, Beautiful armor. The horse is fully kitted out as well, which is amazing. And you've come from like the darkness, you're emerging into this new fresh green, natural beauty, there's flowers around. And you're happy, you're so happy. What you're doing is like the right thing. This is crazy. Maybe let me read this one. Okay, 
Leave the planning stage behind and take action, my loves. Honor your promises and your commitments. Attend to any details and be thorough. Now, if this is to do with a person, it means someone you expect to be loyal, dedicated, and dependable. A well-trained person who does an excellent job over time. A nature and animal lover who may be vegetarian. Detail origin, orientated, diligent, thoughtful, honorable, and kind. Additional meanings are renewed motivation, increased abundance, business travel, a guardian angel. So maybe you have an angel that's helping you through the different stages of like your change in direction and your new life purpose and this new love partnership that's coming through. I feel like the love partnership is this new love partnership that you're having with yourself because you're following your intuition. This new change in direction is divinely orchestrated. It's what you've always wanted and now it's like finally happening. Let's get one more. Can you have clarity on change in direction, life purpose, easy does it, individuality, love partnership, and night of earth. By the way, I've shuffled these cards before. So, I'm just trying to get the best card reading ever. Angels, please tell me when to stop. of earth oh my goodness can you see the family two little bubbas down the bottom a very happy family life financial security finding magic in the little things in life that is so true there is beauty everywhere it's just a matter of perspective and the way that you look at things This is the same setting. Look at these two cards. Can you see like all the yuckiness is behind them and there's like beautiful greenery just in front of them. I feel like this is the same setting. Very happy family life, financially, financial security. Everyone strives to achieve financial security. Whatever that may look like for you. Maybe that's having like your own house and having somewhere where you feel safe. Some of you may be moving house. Okay. Ten of Earth. Let's see what this one is. <laughs> Abundance and financial security are at hand. You've established a lasting foundation of success in business. Ooh. With the success comes feelings of freedom, material comforts, satisfaction in your accomplishments, and the capacity to enjoy yourself, to enjoy yourself are now, or will be yours. What the heck? And the capacity to enjoy yourself are now, or will be yours. Oh, okay. Still, it's important to appreciate the little things in life. Your family life is strong, secure, and peaceful. I may include... This may include your blood relatives, such as chosen family, or a community of people with whom you strongly relate. You drew great comfort from being around, you draw great comfort from those around you and know that you have been extremely blessed. Additional meanings are happiness, inheritance, passing on knowledge, a sense of completion. Just trying to process all of these ones. Let me just pick them all up. I'm just trying to piece together the story. Okay, so the first card that we got was change in direction. Something new is about to happen in your life, which is divinely orchestrated, and it has to do with your life purpose whatever that may be for you. Whatever comes up in your subconscious, that's your divine message. Easy does it, my love. So make sure you take time out, do your self-love practices, get yourself into vibrational alignment because it will give you energy to do the things that you truly love. 
sometimes it's best that we like just walk away, have some time to reflect for ourselves so that we are able to do the things that we want. Embrace your individuality, however that may be for you. There is no one on the planet as more beautiful and as powerful and as creative as you. Which is kind of a beautiful thing when you think about it. There's no one else in this world just like you. There's a new love partnership coming. Maybe this is a love partnership with yourself. Maybe you are now, um, your relationship is taking on a different level. Maybe you are embarking on this, a new relationship. What is this one? Oh yeah, time to buckle down to honor your commitments. So now that you've taken time away to just recuperate, it's time to get things done. What is this one again? Oh, this is like completion, a beautiful, happy ending, financial security, stability, abundance. It's magical. And through that, I see a number of color of the chakras. I feel like we're missing one card. I feel like there's just a little bit more to it. I'm just gonna, I don't know if I should do healing. Or, yeah, I didn't tell healing. I just want healing or numerology. Let's do, okay, let's do healing. Oh, it's a bit dark now. Ooh. <laughs> All right, let's do one more card from the Healing Archangel Raphael deck. Just some clarity. I just feel like I'm missing one piece of the puzzle, Angel. Can you just help me understand this a little bit clearer? getting sweaty so whatever this is it's pretty full on <laughs> stay positive we have this card all the time dear Archangel Raphael thank you for helping me be optimistic and take the appropriate action steps to support my health so that was basically <laughs> Don't you love it how both cards like mean the same thing? You know, easy does it, stay positive, do the things that make you feel good. They're basically the same and both male energies too. So I have all the pieces, I'm just doubting myself. I think that's what it is. Ooh, what's he wearing around his neck? Angel wings? I don't know if you guys can see that. Maybe I'll have to Google that one. Stay positive. See what comes up. I'm seeing it as like angel wings. But he is a massive angel. So it's like you you have We've just got two cards from each deck. Two, four, six, eight cards. Eight is the infinite love and abundance. I can't wait to hear from you guys in the comments section below because I'm just a little bit like, okay. So it's kind of like there's a massive change in direction. You need to do self-love practices. Embrace your individuality and your relationship with yourself or uh, maybe other people around you that love partnership is changing buckle down and get things done because it's like a completion there's magic in everything that you're doing there's financial security and a very happy family life like I think I just need to hear from you guys in the comment section below so my loves please let me know what came up for you in your subconscious at the end of this video I would love to hear you hear from you as always um, and if you would love a private spiritual reading from me please click the link in the description you'll bring you over to the wait list which will be opening <laughs> hopefully by the time you see this video I'm thinking it's gonna open today the day that you're watching this because this is the day that Mercury goes direct, um, which I have been waiting for for ages. So please jump onto that wait list. I would love to hear from you. I have over 100 people on the wait list at the moment. So first in, best served. That's how it's going to go. Um, all you have to do is click the link. Once you're on the wait list, I'll link you over to my website. 
and all you have to do is select a date in which you would like your reading and yeah I've limited the amount so I can give you the best reading possible I didn't want to overwhelm myself because I know there's a hundred people on the wait list that's a lot of people to get through and so I wanted you to know when I would be reading to you and then you'd have seven days um, that, that would be delivered to your inbox or I also have a priority reading which if you don't want to wait then um, at a premium price it would be delivered to you within 48 hours. The idea behind that one is mainly to be used within emergency situations if something comes up and you're like Mel I need your help like right now I'm like okay love sure I'll read for you straight away um, but if you're also <laughs> don't want to wait, then that will totally work for you. Anyways, my love, oh my gosh, have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. Please make sure that you subscribe to our beautiful MK Love fam. It is growing by the day. We are just about to hit 1 million, 1 million subscribers, not million subscribers. That is coming, 1 million views on my channel. And how exciting. I hope that you're having an amazing day. I hope that you're continuing on with your self-love practices. I hope that you're feeling inspired from watching my videos and I hope that you are spreading love, positivity and joy no matter where you are in the world because that, my love, is a gift that is truly the most beautiful and sacred thing on the whole wide world. Anyways, have an amazing day and I will see you next episode. I love you so much, guys. Goodbye.